Hello there. Let's go through histology MCQs on the topic Ethereum. And this is part two of this video. Please, if you haven't watched part one of this video, please do so because there are different questions there. And here we have another set of MCQs on Ethereum. So question one, what type of Ethereum lines the trachea? What type of Ethereum lines the trachea? A simple squamous ethereum b simple cuboidal ethereum c simple columina ethereum d stratified squamous ethereum and e pseudo stratified epithelium so as you are revising with me please try to be pausing the video and choose the correct answer and thereafter come and check the correct answer so for this question they're asking us to uh, what type of ethereum lines the trachea so the type of ethereum that lines the trachea is the pseudo stratified ethereum pseudo stratified ethereum is the correct answer so we move on to question two what type of tissue lines blood vessels what type of tissue lines blood vessels a simple squamous ethereum b simple cuboidal ethereum c simple columina ethereum d stratified squamous ethereum e transitional ethereum so for question two the one which lines blood vessels is simple squamous ethereum it is simple because it is one layer celled and tra tra stratified means Two or more layers so the one which lines blood vessels and uh, inner body cavities is what we call simple squamous ethereum so question two the correct answer is two uh, is a question three what type of ethereum is more than one layer thick a simple b stratified C squamous D cuboidal E columina. So the one which is more than one layer thick is stratified. That is the correct answer is B. Simple one layer and it can be squamous, cuboidal, or columina. So in squamous the cells are flat flat like the inferior cells are flat in cuboidal they are cube like square and then columina they are tall more than they are wide so these are simply how we can classify simple and stratified ethereum so the correct answer is b which is stratified they have more than one layer thick stratified so Question three, correct answer is B. Question four, what do you call a tissue composed of a glomeration of cells which are tightly packed together yet which does not have a free surface? An example of such tissue would be the parenchyma of the adrenal gland. So the question reads, what do you call a tissue composed of agglomeration of cells which are tightly packed together yet does not have a free surface? A free surface is a surface which, uh, which faces the space. Let's say we have uh, the ethereum tissue like this and then uh, this, the epical surface which faces normally the space is what we call a free surface, uh, a free surface, and then this other one is the basal surface. So they are asking us the type of tissue which is composed of agglomeration uh, of cells which are tightly packed together yet does not have a free surface. So an example they are saying parenchyma of the adrenal gland. Of such kind of tissue a 
epithelioid tissue, B, methotherium, C, endothelium, D, transitional, E, pseudostratified. So the correct answer is A. Epithelioid tissue is the one which has accumulation of cells which are tightly packed together and yet does not have a free surface. The correct answer is epithelioid. Methotherium, these lines are uh, inner body cavities such as the peritonea, the pericardium, and the, the uh, abdominal cavity cavities so for endothelium this one lies uh, lines the blood vessels and transitional the it lines the urinary tract and pseudo stratified this one lines the bron the bronchi and the trachea and the nasal cavity so the correct answer for four is epithelioid tissue it has no free surface uh, free space or free surface question five what type of epithelium appears stratified but is not a epithelioid tissue b methotherium c endothelium d transitional e pseudo stratified so which one appears stratified but is not so the correct answer is e pseudo stratified appears stratified it appears as if it has more layers but it's not so this one we are from talking about it methotherium this is these are these lines the internal body cavities and endothelium blood vessels transitional urinary tract so e pseudo stratified it appears stratified it has cells which or which or attached to the basement membrane so it has cells which do not reach the base uh, the apical surface but yet it has other cells which reach the basement the the surface so it appears stratified it appeared is stratified but yet it is not so it is pseudo stratified so let's move on to question six question six reads which of the following is lined by a mucosa which of the following is lined by a mucosa a peritoneal cavity b pericardia cardio cavity c prolo cavity d alimentary canal and e all of the above aligned by a mucosa so we have vocerosa and mucosa so mucosa these are cells which produces mucus and serosa they produce uh, serum fluid like water so the ones which produce mucus are the alimentary canal we have the peritonea which is found in the uh, the, the peritoneum is serosa and pericardium is also serosa. Prolo is also serosa and alimentary canal is mucosa. So it's lined by a mucosa. So the correct answer is D. Okay, so let's move on to question 7. What type of gland secretes its product directly into the blood stream? What type of gl gland secretes its product direct, uh, directly into the bloodstream a endocrine gland b mouth cellular gland c endocrine uh, exocrine gland and d all of the above e none of the above so endocrine gland secretes its product directly into the bloodstream it is ductless and then mouth cellular gland this is another type the classification of glands so we have an unicellular and multicellular which I have a cluster a accumulation of, uh, of cells and unicellular they are scattered in the all over the epithelia so the correct answer is endocrine gland they 
pro they secrete products directly into the bloodstream. Exocrine, they use a duct like they have ducts and they do not uh, secrete directly into the bloodstream. So the correct answer for seven is A. Question eight, what is a grand code if it has an unbranched duct? A, a simple gland, B, compound gland, C, tubular, D, alveolar, E, tubular, alveolar. So grants are classified um, simple and compound. So it can be simple if it is not branched. And if it is branched, then we say it is compound. Then a tubular, it is simply a gland which, are, which looks like a tube. And amviola, this looks like a flask. Flask in the laboratory, something like this. So it doesn't have a tube, it looks like a flask. That is amviola. Now tubular amviola, it has a tube and then in the end it has an amviola. That is tubular amphora and most it is found in the compound grants. So what is the grant code if it has unbranched? So unbranched is a simple grant. So question eight, the correct answer is A. Question nine, what is a grant code if the secretory portion is tube shaped ending in a flask shaped? So I'm um, from explaining about this. What is a grant code if the secretory portion is tube shaped? ending in a flask shaped so shaped area at the terminus a simple grant b compound grant c tubular d alveolar and e tubular alveolar so the correct answer for question 9 is e tubular alveolar why because it has a portion which is tube shaped and in the end it has a flask shaped so where it is coming from, it is a tube, and then in the end, it forms something like a flask. So it is tubular and viola. So question 9, the correct answer is E. Question 10, what is the surface modification seen on the cells of the epididymis? What is the surface modification seen on the cells of the epididymis? A, microvilli, B, stereocilia, C, cilia, D keratinization, keratinization, and then E both A and B. So the one, uh, this is about this uh, epithelium like surface specialization. So we have microvilli, stereocilia, and cilia. So which one is found in the epididymis? So the one which is found in the epididymis is stereocilia. So question 10, the correct answer is B. Microvilli, they are found in the intestines, in the GIT and Syria. They are found in the trachea, in the bronchi, and even in the nasal cavity. Keratinization is simply, this is the formation of keratin in the skin, in the epidermis. So correct answer for 10 is B. Thank you very much for watching my video. Remember, don't forget to like subscribe and leave your comment in the comment section below